congratulations. We have to remind persons that you won the brand in 2019 in this event. Coming out here today, running a massive personal best. Tell us about this race. Um, yesterday I felt so bad about the way I ran. And it wasn't a bad execution at all. I think it was just, um, I wanted to finish in a better place. So I had to sleep on it. I had to, I had to forget that race yesterday and come out here just to run a brand new race and my coach said to me that I ran out of lane 8 at trials why can't I do it again so I decided to put the strides together and I still messed up I prayed about it and I'm back in another final yes. with a PB yes. you have had an up and down season and a lot of person might have written you off just tell us about that journey uh, a new coach a new environment and Coach Walcott had, had so much patience with me, teaching me how to sprint and all these things. And when I was coming out here, he said, put some heart into it because he knows that I'm a person who runs with heart. And that's what, exactly what I did. I just put some heart into it. And I'm just, I'm just grateful to be in another final. I didn't get the big cue, but I ran a PB. What more can I ask for? A PB is just massive. A lot of people came here without running anything close to their personal best and for me not to run in two years and come back from three torn hamstring muscles and run a PB that's just amazing yes. all, right. coming, all the best, best. Coming, thank you coming into that straight though um you know what was that about the eight hurdle what was going through your mind at that time um i'm always messing up hurdle nine and ten for some reason i can't get it together but it has been better for this race i didn't get it fully but I had to, I had to be like Rochelle. You got a hurdle. You got a hurdle. I still stuttered a little bit, but it was better than previous races. So I'm just grateful to get over them without falling. Mm -hmm. What do you think you you probably would want to work on? Uh, probably just my stride pattern. Mm -hmm. I need to be consistent with the stride pattern, getting off the turn. Mm -hmm. So that's what I need to work on for the next race. A full season of you being close to 100% though, um, I can see you accomplishing great, great, great I've, things. I've already accomplished a lot. Mm -hmm. From the first race, when I ran 55.5, I've never did that for a season opener. Mm -hmm. And that gave me a lot of confidence. And each race, I just keep getting better and better. And it's nothing short of amazing, and I'm grateful. Today, before I got out the door, I had to go down on my knee and pray and tell. I'm like, God, I know who I am. Please remember. Please help me to remember who I am. And He did just that, and I'm just grateful. <laughs> I'm just grateful. You describe yourself as a, a, a determined, determined person. I'm very determined. I'm very resilient. I'm hardworking. I don't think anybody works as hard as I do. Um, I've held conditions that I haven't disclosed to anybody, just my immediate circle who knows these things. And with those conditions, I had to... I've had days in practice where I don't know if I will make it out of practice. Days when I'm passing out, but I just keep pushing and I'm here in another World Champs Finals. To God be the glory. Yeah.